This is the aerodynamics of the bunker busters the US used on Iran, the GBU-57. For a bunker buster, it's actually relatively slow. Where other bunker busters reach Mach 5 or so, the GBU-57 reaches only about Mach 1. So instead of using speed to produce its bunker busting kinetic energy, it uses its mass, which comes in at 30,000 pounds. It doesn't have any propulsion either, so it relies solely on gravity to accelerate at two sonic speeds. To navigate, it has four porous plates that can tilt to redirect it. Their default position is flat. At Mach 0.95, ahead of the projectile, a shockwave forms. The flow after that is a little slower and actually, its nose sees flow speeds down to Mach 0.5. As the air travels over the nose cone, it accelerates and we get some more minor shocks forming. The rest of the body is uneventful until we go between the plates. The flow here accelerates even more and we get some more shocks forming. Behind the GBU-57, a relatively small wake forms, but that's in this plane that cuts between the plates. For a plane that cuts through them, the wake is far larger. That tells us that these plates are very effective at changing the flow, which is how they are used to control the direction of the GBU-57. There are minor pockets of supersonic flow that get through the porous plates. That is even more impressive considering that the fin's wakes hit the plates, so the plates have slower flow to begin with, yet the flow still manages to go well above Mach 1.